You made it! Oh. Well, the gloves definitely work. Oh! Hey everyone, this is Ian. Thank you again for joining me on my channel. Today, we are back riding at Greer Ranch. We actually haven't come here in a long time. It's probably been almost a year by it now. It has been, yeah. The weather is nice. As you can see, we're in our short sleeves and we're even on our cap reds today. We decided to take a break from the e-bikes. So our friends over at InBikes sent us these mountain biking gloves to try out and give a review on. As you can see, we're both wearing them today. However, we are not at all getting paid to say a good or bad review of the gloves. So we're going to say what we honestly think about them and how they perform today on the trail. Yeah. So far, Dad, what are your initial impressions of these gloves? So, as you can see, I got the black ones on and Ian has the gray ones. Um, my initial impressions are they're actually really nice. I have have I have many, many different name brand gloves and these definitely as good as any other gloves I've had. I noticed off the bat, you know, there was no loose strings. They felt and fit true to size. They have good grip here for brakes as well as they have the little touch points for your phone. Um, so initially, I, I actually really like them. Uh, they have good padding on the palms. And uh, for any of those of you who uh, dirt bike, I also dirt bike, these would actually be really good dirt bike gloves also. So I'd say they're definitely, initial impressions, they're very, very well, well made gloves. I completely agree. They feel very thick. They would be good for riding in the cold or intense downhill or even dirt biking like he mentioned. I tried out a little bit of the touchscreen on my phone and it actually worked really well, but I'm excited to see how they do on the trail. So I'll see you once we get there. All right. Ready? Yeah. Overdrive. 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 Feels good to be back on the Capra, as Ian said. Oh. How's it feel to be back on the Capra, bud? Amazing. Good. <laughs> Dude! That was a little bit of a whip there! That looked clean! I if I can only keep up to catch, keep him on camera, so Ian's getting a little stylish out here. Oh, well, the gloves definitely work. Oh, got the gloves in action. All right. So that was not my intention to test out the gloves, but... Oh, I like that. I really like that. Oh, that was bad. Don't tell me you took the wrong turn. Oh, that was a roller. I went around it. What do you think? I got to test out the gloves. <laughs> oh no, you fell? I take a big ride. How? Oh. What, did you, what happened? Did you go OTB? Oh my gosh, congrats. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You got to break in the gloves. 
So we just finished overdrive and already dad took a pretty bad crash and got to test the gloves. Yeah, so this, I didn't plan this at all. It'd be pretty dumb of me to plan it. This was not planned at all, but I took a pretty bad crash there on overdrive. Just one of those mistakes. I think I clipped the pedal and I went over the bars and uh, hands came out. I probably should have did a better job at rolling, but hands came out and if you can see the gloves, there's not, except for some dust I already wiped off. Uh, no damage to the gloves at all. So that would have been one of those where other gloves probably would have ripped. And this has really good padding like we mentioned earlier. So the padding took a lot of the brunt. So I'm actually, I'm pretty happy. So that was real life testing of these gloves, not intentional. So far they're holding together very well. So just, yeah. just checking in as we pedal over to Jumping Mouse that on the trail we got to test them and so far they they score very high on the protection scale yep that's good all right everyone i'll see you once we get to jumping mats now all right once okay. again it was a pleasure all right actually ian you lead because i'm just gonna hold you up see now i gotta let him go because <laughs> all right bud we'll see ya. Yeah, you you too It looks so well. Nice! You cleared it! Woo! So I'm not jumping as nice as Ian, as you guys can tell. Little nose heavy. Luckily you got all that extra travel. Yeah. We are now at TNBDH. We actually haven't done this trail in a long time. Yeah, this one's probably been, what, a year and a half? At least, yeah. It looks like they actually cleaned it up a bit. It looks good. I don't remember much of it after this first thing, whatever, so. I remember there were some gaps somewhere along the way. There's a, yeah, there's gaps and there's drops. I don't know, though. So, it's fine. We'll figure it out once we're on there. Yeah. All right. All right. Ready? You're ready? You lead. All right. Let's go. Off the trail already. Oh, shit. <laughs> you uh. <laughs> went off the trail before the stuff even started. Did you really go off the trail for it? Right, right in the beginning. Before it even started. Right. Ian, I didn't even make it to the trail. Oh my I god. Right in the beginning, I went far right. <laughs> That's no horrible. Reason, I went off to the right. Did you at least redo it? No, I went, I was down there. Uh, I'd have to hike back up. You cheater. I know you did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. There's a gap jump down there. I'm gonna try to hit it. Okay. okay. All right. Here's the gap. Pretty, pretty hefty, pretty big size gap. All right. First gap, no problem. Second one, no problem. Nice and smooth. Damn. Dude. Yeah. You easily cleared them. Yeah, that wasn't bad. All right. Ready? Yeah. Remember, there's a roller right there. Yep. And remember, we can't go too far to one direction yeah, either. You need to go up and turn left. Okay, go ahead. Go up and turn left. There it is. Oh, is this new? Yeah. Oh, new. shoot. That looks cool. We need a more speed to hit it's that. It's like a roller into a turn, though. Wait. Do they... What? There's two routes. Where did it turn off though? 
Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter now. We're we're already here. Oh well. What do you think? We're already committed. Let's keep going. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we don't know what trail we are on now. Maybe uh, one of the locals can put in the let us know in the description in the uh, comments what trail we're on because we have no idea what trail we're on now. Right, Ian? Yeah. I think we took the wrong turn because I saw it up there, but it looked like it was blocked off. Okay, this is way something else. Yeah. Couldn't even know what trail we're on. Where the heck are we? I don't know. I think it's a new trail. Yeah, well, it, it definitely is. We've never been on this. I don't know, we gotta go that way. Morning. Right, like this bike. You know what, you can take a straight, it'll connect to the other road, or we backtrack. But I think if you go straight, you can't go left, I mean right. right. Yeah, you know, and you weren't prepared for that. Yeah. Alright, so we have finished the ride. Yeah, we, so we found some new trails. Any of the locals can put in the comments what we were on. We thought we were on TMBDH and we took, a wrong turn. we took a wrong turn. It was a really fun trail, but it kind of dropped us off back on that side and we had to do some backtracking. But either way, they, they've done a great job out here. We just got a little lost. Yeah, it was also nice to do jumping mouse though. After a while, I really missed that trail. If you saw, I did a few. Yeah, Ian, Ian was getting clean. Uh, you guys will see later. I took a couple of spills. I went off the trail on Tim BDH, uh, so I was off my game a little bit. But uh, anyway, it was it was a good ride. I'm glad we came back. Me too. It felt nice to be back here, especially on the Capra. Yeah, I miss the Capra a lot. Yeah. Cool. So Ian, what do you think of the gloves? I personally really like them. They offered a lot of protection, as you noticed when Dad fell. Oh. Um, in the padding on the palms was really good. It was really comfortable holding on, and the rubbery texture on the fingers as i mentioned also provided for better braking i tried a little more with the touch screen on the fingers and it doesn't really work too well on my watch but it worked just fine on my phone um the only thing that i didn't really like about this was there isn't much ventilation in it so that'd be fine for if you're riding on a cold day but it wouldn't be too ideal for riding in the summer or when it's really hot because then your hands might get a little hot dad what about you what did you think i, I like them overall i mean as you guys can see, I wiped off the dust. I took a hard fall, didn't even put a scratch on the gloves. The padding really helped on the fall. So they're, they're, they're definitely heavy duty gloves. Like Ian said, cold days, downhill days, days like today doing some gnarly stuff, I would definitely wear these gloves. Uh, the faster you're moving, the more ventilation you get. So I would say they probably need a little more ventilation, but excluding that, I mean, I, I, I'd take the little ventilation over the protection. So, I mean, I'd rather have the protection, yeah. especially for today. So I, I, I like them overall. I, I, I think they're really good, well-made gloves. Yeah. Also, this is kind of personal preference, but I really like how there's a Velcro to tighten the gloves on these. Oh yeah. Yeah, it has good Velcro and like it's clean. You guys see there's like nothing coming undone. There's nothing really frayed. It Velcro looks really good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I would definitely for sure recommend these gloves yeah yeah if you guys are interested check out the the link in the description you know put a link there to the gloves if you're interested if they seem like they'd fit uh, the kind of riding you do yeah. but cool bud i'm glad we came back me too that was a lot of fun so if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new and i'll see you on our next adventure good ride bud thank you